Hey guys, welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here, and it is the last video for Comfort Food. Not that we won't ever do Comfort Food again, but this whole month was a blast. Thank you so much for joining me through the chili, through the mac and cheese, through the meatloaf, all the good stuff. Today, we're doing not just the number one American comfort food, pizza, but it is deep dish pizza. I don't believe I've ever done deep dish pizza on the show. So uh, come on in close. I want to treat the pan, the deep dish pan first. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to grease the pan up, okay? So I'm gonna, I was gonna use bacon grease, but Tammy thought that wasn't a good choice, so we're gonna go with butter. I'm gonna grab some butter. Hold on. I'm gonna spread it all around. All right, guys, we've laid in our pizza crust. It's really a nice pizza crust. I like this. If this is good, I'm gonna highly recommend that everybody go over to Publix and they're in like square containers and they're folded in fours. It's time to fill this bad boy. You guys ready? All right, let's go get all the ingredients and then we'll start putting it all together and we'll start cooking. Remember I did rub with love seasoning and they had a serious pie pizza spice. It's pizza spice. I'm gonna be using that in the sauce, okay? Olives, ricotta cheese, onion, bell pepper, parmesan, banana peppers, a combination of Italian cheeses and pizza. It's all shredded. I got mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna put a lot of different cheeses in this. Got bacon, and got hot Italian sausage. That's it. We're gonna take one jar of sauce. We're going to pour it in here. And you know my new favorite thing to do? Mix the ricotta cheese into it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put the whole thing in. I love how it slides right out. You can warm this up a little bit, get that cheese broken up. You can do it cold like I'm doing it. I love ricotta cheese mixed in pasta sauce. So we're gonna use this in the pizza. I've seen sauce just on top. I've seen sauce and cheese on top. I've seen them lying cheese on the bottom. So I'm gonna do that. Put that right there. Drop a bunch of cheese in here. Get that all spread out. There's gonna be a lot of cheese in this. I'm just telling you. Ooh, let's see, get that all laid out. I'm gonna take some sauce with ricotta and dot it all over. And spread it out a little bit. Come on in here, put a little more sauce. Then we'll take um, some of our filling and take our peppers and onions, sprinkle those around. Take our bacon. I'm using all the bacon, I can guarantee that because there's not a lot of bacon here. And then the olives. And then we'll do some pepperoncinis around. There we go. Get that all leveled out there. And then we're going to layer cheese again. Gonna sprinkle my seasoning on top. Everything I've ever touched to theirs was good, so I'm not gonna worry about ruining this pizza. Take it and put it all over. The Parmesan is decoration. So we're gonna put it over here. Four twenty-five. Check it at twenty-five minutes. See everything's going, and then we'll take a look at it. Probably around the forty-minute mark. It should be done. It happens on a regular basis that I screwed this up. This is missing one of the ingredients. It's over on the stove behind me. I'm gonna have to place sausage on top. I don't. I didn't want it on top. 
If you're making this, put the sausage in first, then put the sauce on top. But I've got, I'm not leaving the sausage out. So let me go get my sausage. So let's see what we got here. There we go. Say that's more than 10 pounds probably 12 or 13 pounds that is loaded and I'm going to try it out here we go it's falling apart here we go there you go got the slice out who figured I could do it I pulled it off looks beautiful Got my fork. You guys, I'm not picking this up with my hands. Sorry, my family's from New York. But anyway, uh, let's give us a try. Um, smells amazing. Cook for about 45 minutes at 425. Here we go. That's pizza. I've had deep dish. That tastes great. Lots of cheese. Lots of meat. You can feel the crunch in the vegetables. It came out good. The only screw up I did was the sausage. Should have had the sausage underneath the sauce. And then level it out with it. It took the whole jar of sauce. Wow. One piece could fill me like crazy. Anyway... That's it. Comfort Food Month has come to an end. We had so much fun. We covered so many favorites. And you got to give us a try. You, if you don't like to mess with the dough, go buy your dough at, uh, I bought mine at, uh, was it Publix? I think I went to Publix. They had it already. It was folded. I just unfolded it, laid it right in the pan, formed it with my fingers. Piece of cake. All right, guys. I love you. Give this a try, and I'll talk to you later.